Hey guys, today I'm showing you what's in my bag. I love this bag. It's actually by a brand called Pollen and um, I just love the mix of leather and suede and that warm maroon color for autumn winter. Everything I talk about today is going to be linked to buy on the blog and also below if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. So first up, my phone. Although my phone is never really in my bag, it's always in my hand. Um, I've got one of those covers that you can literally throw this on the floor and it won't break because I'm always dropping it. So at the moment I am read, I'm a big reader, a big bookworm, so I always have my book with me and currently it's a baby one. It's called Bringing Up Bebe and it was recommended to me by a friend who works in the fashion industry who's married to a Frenchman. And it's about the subtle differences that French families use in raising their babies and children. And allegedly it can help them sleep better and eat better. So we'll see. It's good though. Snacks, especially at the moment. Um, I usually have a banana with me. And yesterday, after working out, I, re I felt a bit faint. And so I definitely needed that. Um, obviously it was a different one. An avocado. Because... Especially when we're going on long car journeys or long flights, you don't know if there's going to be anywhere decent to stop for food and you can always add one of these to a crappy sandwich or salad and suddenly it's yummy. Right, glasses. Some of you know I wear glasses and I wear them for long distance. These are by a brand called Finley & Co, um, which was actually started by a friend of mine I went to university with and they are killing it. So I wear these for driving or going to the movies. They're super filthy, they need a clean. What else? Car key, especially in LA, you're always driving. And perfume. I switch my perfume up a lot. I got this recently, it's called Tam Dao by Diptyque. Um, Mackenzie bought it for me as a Prezi, didn't you babes? And it's really strong. I like strong scents at the moment, but I don't stick to the same one the whole time. I like to switch it up depending on my mood and the season. Okay, this is random, but I usually have a pair of earrings in my bag in case I'm going out to dinner later um, and I want to sort of make my outfit a bit smarter. These are by a French brand called Les Nerides. And if you look closely, they have got the most beautiful um, leaf motif all over them. So I'm obsessed with those at the moment. I'm also obsessed with these. They're vintage Hermes earrings I found on vestiaire.com. And they were pretty affordable and they came straight from Paris. And if anyone knows the era these are from, I'm thinking 70s or 80s, Le leave me a comment below because I'm dying to know phone charger and actually my tip is you can now buy higher wattage phone chargers so um, go for that if you want to charge it up quicker so i love these sunglasses they're by paired eyewear an australian brand and you'll have seen them on the blog lots but i'm into skinny shades now it took me a while but what do you think Um, my sugar or my sweetener, and this is not an ad, but I do like Truvia. I think it's relatively natural and I can't have my tea or coffee without making it sweet. I've tried, tried to be healthy. Um, Altoids, I love my mints and cinnamon Altoids as well. Are very yummy. I miss those when I go back to England. Um, I'm a geek for monogramming at the moment. So uh, my wallet is by Mon Purse and you can decide the lettering that you have. Um, LVH because I have officially changed my name to Hunkin um, and my middle name is Victoria. This is my planner by a brand called Smytheson. It's a very old English company and I'm obsessed. I write everything down in here rather than um, an online schedule. I just need to see it, I'm old school. So I love those. And then of course, my pen, nail file. I hate it when you get like a jagged broken nail and you can't fix it. Hate that. And then a cup, not much makeup, but Elizabeth Arden A Tower Cream, which they've kept the recipe for this the same for decades and decades. And it's just great for chapped lips or cuts and sores and dry skin, everything. 
And then if I'm having a day of meetings, I just find it really helpful to have some powder on hand. And this one by Terry is not too matte, so you can kind of reapply it all day and it doesn't clog you up, but it just covers any like shiny, sweaty bits. You know, you know. One of my favorite lipsticks, Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a lovely matte, neutral, kind of pinky nude. I love it. It goes with everything. So I might reapply that between meetings. And then mascara. I think if you're out all day at meetings and then you just need a little zhuzh in between or before dinner, um, a quick layer of mascara really opens up the eyes and the face. And this is by YSL called The Shock. So there you have it guys, that's what's in my bag. What's in your bag? <laughs>